Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to the uh, eighth round of this Play and Discuss CBAI uh, competition. And uh, the teaching hand, or the hand of the day today, is hand six, which I think has some interesting uh, propositions for us. So we see that it starts here with the uh, east hand. It east has a seven, eight, and 12 points unbalanced. It has a singleton, so it's obviously going to open a club. Uh, we're, uh, uh, South has nothing to say with his points, so they're going to pass. And North here now had, knows that his partner is opened and has 13 points, so knows eventually they should be in game. But it's what game should they do? Well, they just have to bid normally for the moment, because we may find that uh, our partner fits our hand perfectly. So uh, North is going to pass here. Uh, it does it have enough for a, an overcall at the uh, diamond level, the diamond suit? Well, uh, in order for it to bid uh, two diamonds, it should have a, it should pass the suit quality test. The suit quality test says if you are going to overcall a suit, you must uh, add your honors in that suit to the amount of the suit that you have. Now, in this case, we have two honors and we have five diamonds. So two and five is seven. And that says <coughs> the suit quality test <coughs> would allow you bid to the one level. In order for you to bid at the two level to make the eighth eight tricks, you should have either an extra diamond or a, an extra honor in that. So we just failed the suit quality test there. So we're not going to overcall diamonds with North, even though we have an ace and a queen, queen or ace and a king. So um, fortuitously, East can now show its four card spade suit, which it couldn't do at any other level but the one level, because if it had to do it at the two level, it would be showing a much stronger hand. It would be a reverse bid. So uh, it has uh, uh, 12 points. So it is now showing five clubs, four spades, and 12 to 14 points. So that, that has worked out very well. And South is going to pass. Now, this puts uh, West in a bit of a dilemma. It has told his partner that it has at least six points. Well, it has much more than six points. It also has told its partner it has at least four hearts, but it hasn't told it about the fifth heart. Now, it knows that it doesn't have a fit in spades. It certainly doesn't want to play in clubs. Its diamonds really aren't that great. Queen Jack four is not a great stop for no trump. It would like to know more about the heart suit. So what could it do in this situation? Well, there is a perfect bid here. We can go two diamonds, which should be alerted by your partner to say fourth suit 40, because we have now uh, shown up with a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond in our bidding system. So we've, uh, we've mentioned all four suits. Now the fourth suit forcing specifically says, I don't really think I have uh, uh, a good fit for no trump. And I want you to describe your hand again. So it's asking your partner, don't rely on my diamonds. It's very likely that I don't have diamonds. Otherwise, I would have gone to three no trump. But what I'm saying is we should be in game somewhere else. And, uh, and in this situation, it's very often because I have five of a major and I've only shown you four. And I want to know, do you have, um, do you have three of that major? Well, now, our partner, being a very smart person, has recognized that this is fourth suit forcing, has uh, alerted it to the whole table, and now knows that uh, his partner has five, uh, should, could have five hearts. So he, he does a delayed raise in hearts, and it will go three hearts to say, yes, partner, I do have three hearts. Now, obviously, if he had four hearts, he wouldn't have gone one spade as a second bid. So now he can show that he has three hearts and partner can now uh, happily go to four hearts. 
And that was a very successful bidding sequence using Ford Seed Suit for Forcing. So you can see it's actually a very good contract. You've uh, uh, a fit in hearts, you have a single endowment, which is good, and you have some decent spades. So what would we do here? Well, what would the normal lead be? The normal lead would be coming from north, and ace from ace king in a suit contract is an excellent lead. So we play the ace, showing our partner that we have uh, uh, the king behind it. And as you can see there, um, there is no point in uh, north wasting his king now. Uh, because um, East is void in diamonds, so we will have to to uh, to switch. He would either switch to uh, a trump or uh, a spade, and I think probably the spade is the the better fit. Um, so what will we do here? We will go player four. The ten will be played because South sees that the ace and the jack are there. So is 10, it's 10 is as good as it's queen. So it'll play the 10 and we'll win that with the king. Now, what do we do? Well, we know once again that we have uh, five trumps out. We have, we have eight and our opponents have five. The probability is in that situation, they will break three through two and we want them to break, break three two. Now, when you're missing, uh, when you have the ace king and you're missing the, Jack 10 and Queen, the Queen Jack 10 uh, of five trumps out, it is impossible to get the uh, all, all of them to fall at the same time. So you're going to lose one trump trick. So I think what we will do is we play our trumps and hope that we are right in our assessment of the way, and that's looking good for the moment. And then we play the king, and up comes the 10, 8 and the queen comes down. Now the rule of one comes into play uh, when we have one trump out and it's higher uh, than any of our trumps, we don't try and take it out unless there's some emergency reason. So what we should do now, the best thing we can do now is just ignore it and let them use it. It's gonna win a trick anyway. So now we should play our, our clubs. So we're gonna play your clubs here. We'll play the king and we play that. And now we play the ace of clubs, eight of clubs, three of clubs, and five of clubs. And now we're going to rough a club, jack of clubs, two of hearts. And what is uh, North going to do? Well, it's going to have to use its, uh, it's not going to get in with the uh, diamond. Uh, it's not going to get in with the ace of spades. It may as well take this trick and hope that uh, the spade will be ducked again, but no chance. We're going to take this ace of spades now. And then what we'll do is we'll rough another club. So now you see what has happened is our seven of clubs is now a winner, but we have to get over there with our seven of clubs. So what we'll do now is we'll play the queen of diamonds and we do know that the north hand would not have played the ace without playing the uh, without the king behind it. So we're happy enough to play the uh, the queen of diamonds. And if it doesn't cover, we play the jack of diamonds and rough that. But it does cover, and we'll rough with the nine of hearts, and we'll now play our seven of clubs, and we'll be able to throw our spade loser on it to make it disappear, and then we play another spade. Up comes the queen and her seven of hearts takes care of that. And then our jack of diamonds is a winner to make four hearts plus one. So the careful play has given us an extra trick and we're very happy in that. So very careful bidding, uh, agreement with our partner as to what fourth suit forcing is used for uh, and what it says about your hand and asking you to, to bid again to see if there's a better, uh, better contract in store than three no trump. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Remember to uh, tick the like box and the subscribe box if you found this useful. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.